table for a little while. There's a few reasons. One being that we just didn't want to keep showing you us doing the same thing over and over again because it's really boring and repetitive. Secondly, we've been a bit busy doing stuff outside of the convent, so uh, we've also had a bit of sickness going around, haven't we? Yeah. Since the children have gone back to school, we've all been getting the colds and sniffles, and I already had a cold, and I've got another one, and it went to my chest, so I couldn't be in here with the smell of the paint, I couldn't <coughs> breathe. So, just lots of little things. <laughs> but we have been back in the last couple of days, most spent an afternoon in here on his own doing a few bits and today we've been in here all day getting stuff done so I don't know if you can see behind us but we're halfway there <laughs> yeah. we've uh, all we've got to do now is two windows and the shutters that go with those windows and then this room is pretty much finished in terms of painting this weekend it's Mo's birthday on Sunday so we are heading off to Paris to celebrate that this weekend because we haven't really had a break for a little while so I think we need one to oh. get rid of the paint off of our hands and hair and everywhere. <laughs> it's stuck to us. But yeah, so um, yeah, we're going to come back on Monday, we're going to get the flooring, we are going to get the skirting boards and the um, trimming for the doors to do the panelling on that, the beading, and so that's the next step. So once that's done, it's done, isn't it, this room? Yeah. We've just got to put kitchen and light fittings and stuff like that. So next week, we'll be full hands on deck, and we'll have a bit of money as well, won't we? Yeah. Because <laughs> we are skinny. We don't have money. <laughs> no, we've used it all. So we need more paint, we need flooring, and yeah. So that's the plan for next week and I also wanted to give you guys the opportunity to ask us some questions because I know loads of you have questions about what we're going to do next and what we're doing so for the next video I will do a question and answer so anything you want to ask put it in the comment section and the next video I will be answering all of your questions but yeah so now quickly, I'm going to give you a little tour of what's finished. You can pretty much see it behind us, but a bit more up close. <laughs> it just doesn't seem to change, does it? Even though we do lots of work. It... No, it changes. Yeah. Just a lot. So I'm going to put some before and after pictures as well, so you can have a reminder of how it did look in here. Mm. It was very grimy and grotty looking, wasn't it? Really pleased with it. And as soon as it falls down, we're away. So let's uh, have a little look around. This is one half of the shutter for this window and we've got the other half over there. Mm -hmm. And uh, so these are, we had to do two coats and we've had to wait for those to dry and then to flip it over and do two coats. We've taken off, actually that's what I want to show you guys. So, wait a moment. So off of the shutters, we have taken these. So they basically are what open and close it, so if you want to keep them closed. And they painted over them. And they're only just horrible metal anyway. So we're going to strip the paint off of these and paint them like a, not copper, but like a brass, brass look on it. And then they can go back on because I think that will give the, shutters a bit more of a nice feature. So that's another little job that's got to be done, not very big or hard, but nonetheless, it's a job. So I think, uh, yeah, so these two windows are untouched. <laughs> mm. And they are a real pain. We should have really have taken them off to paint them because, um, You've got these bits that are on the windows, just here, most taken two off, top and bottom. So then we would have just been left with the sort of frame of the windows, but instead I've been painting them and pulling it forward and shutting it and closing it. But anyway, these two are, so this one is finished, 
this window. It's still tacky and wet, so it doesn't look that great at the moment, but just a few touch-ups on the top and it's finished. And this one, again, the, this bottom part is all finished. You've just got to do a little coat up there. And then we can clean off the windows and scrape off the paint that we have got on the windows. And it'll be done. And yeah, so I think that's it really. <laughs> We've just been doing loads of cutting in around the walls, getting that done. We have got to cut out the, the trench for the electric to go to the island. And once that's done, we can then get the flooring down over it. Now, we haven't um, made plans for the kitchen yet, just because we want to get everything ready and um, go to the kitchen place because oh, the paint is really getting to my throat. Um, yeah, we want to go to the kitchen place, sit down with them. They can pretty much start making it straight away. All we've got to do is pick out the actual materials that we want for the kitchen and find out the price. And then if not, we're just going to go and get an Ikea kitchen and whack it out quickly. <laughs> So that's what we've got I to do. I think what we should do. What, Ikea? Yeah, they do good, good stuff. Yeah, they're nice. It's just that it's nice to have like somebody build it for you and come and put it in for you. <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. We're going to go and do that next week anyway. We're going to book an appointment and get that done. So lots to do next week. the fun job of cleaning everything because we're not going to be here for the weekend until Monday and it's Thursday today <laughs> so just gonna have a little clean up and uh, make sure it's all ready for next week <laughs> Thank you. 